I have received this message from a sister. She says she is a Muslim, a convert to Islam. I do not know. Especially now that I read this from her, basically she is saying she is actually throwing uh, Andrew Tate under the bus by claiming something that could be absolutely false. Number one, she said, as for Tate, let's be real. A lot of people get their ideas of the religion through media and movies. That is true, but you cannot take something like this and reach to an deductive argument or conclusion saying that, you know what, these people, they have researched Andrew Tate just like they have found out their religion through media and movies. There is a logical fallacy for that for sure, which is widely inaccurate. This is what she said, based on the, his views of women, I worry he will be spreading misinformation about how women are actually treated with the Muslim religion. Muslim religion? No. Say with Islam. <laughs> now, the fact that she mentioned about misinformation and spreading misinformation about Andrew Tate, it is completely inaccurate. Andrew Tate never ever had a view of Muslim women ever in his life because he just converted only a few days ago. How could he have a view about women, Muslim women? The claim that she is making this, I, I think she's a feminist Muslim woman. She is saying that his spreading misinformation is absolutely false. It's a fallacy about how women are accurately treated with the Muslim religion. Then she said he is probably under the impression we are subservient and allow abusive behaviors. Absolutely not. In fact, Andrew Tate, he praised the Muslim woman. You know, if you got yourself a nice Islamic wife, she wouldn't cheat on you, she'd cook for you, she'd look after you, she wouldn't have an OnlyFans. You know, most of the problems you're facing currently with women can be solved by Islam. Really? I just told you why. Wait, they actually she'd, don't cheat? She'd have, she'd have decency, she'd cover up, she'd be God-fearing. If she miss, Her family would also keep an eye on her, so her family would tell her to obey her husband. She'd want your children. She'd look after you. Islamic women are the best. They understand that the best way to serve God is to also serve their husbands. Where do I get one at? So A few things I want to make mention, actually, too. Number one, dear my sisters, Tate, he pointed out the traditional role the Muslim woman should play, which would include cooking, taking care of the kids, building a better society, helping in raising family, and many other very, very important roles. But this woman, the feminists, they want something else. They want to practice hypergamy. They want to be contrasexual. They want to have their own career and throwing the whole family idea under the bus. This is what makes them very much uncomfortable with Andrew Tate, everything he has to say. Number two point, and this is my last point, is that when the LGBTQ, they are promoting their books, sexually explicit books in the schools, these feminists, Muslim feminists I'm talking about, they do not raise their voice. In fact, they do the exact opposite. They say, we need to embrace the LGBTQ. We need to hug them. We need to kiss them. They're part of us. We should not be oppressing them. What they also do at the same time is, unfortunately, and quite ironically, they quote the life story of Prophet Lut and tell us, they look, this is what is happening. He never hated them. He actually was never against LGBTQ, rather he wanted them to be part of his family. Absolutely ridiculous and this is how they change the religion. What is good, it becomes evil and what is evil becomes good. And this is why Rasulullah said, now I'm talking again about the feminist. Rasulullah said that I have not left behind after me. Adarra alar rijali. Rasulullah said that I have not adarra rijali, a, a harmful thing for the rijal. Minan Nisa, when he talks about the fitna, then woman basically means women are going to be the worst thing, the most harmful thing that I have left behind for the man. There is nothing more harmful, and this is so true. The feminists, they are not harming our family fabric, the structure, the family, the societal structure, but also now they are actually twisting our belief in Islam, twisting our belief in the Quran, how Quran talks about and deals with this subject matter. They're coming up with their own narrative and this is dear brothers and sisters very very dangerous. If you are new to this channel consider to subscribe. I'll see you inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.